Hi, this is Dan, the Realty Man, coming to you from sunny Cape Coral, Florida, with your market report for October 2022. First of all, I hope you are doing well. And you know, there's a few of you that got in contact with me and asked me about last month's report. Well, I didn't produce one last month because I was affected by Hurricane Ian as well. I lost shingles off my house, uh, trees are down, all outside damage, but I was so grateful because I didn't have any water intrusion into my house. But I really like to thank my son-in-law, Clint. He came down for several days, helped me to clean up my yard. I really appreciated that, Clint. And hey, there's nothing like young blood coming down to give you a hand when you got a lot of work to do. But anyway, now we have this month's report that we're going to take a look at here as well. How are you doing now? How did you make out? I've talked to many of you over the past month and a lot of you are doing okay with minor damage. There are some with severe damage that they had on their houses and my thoughts and prayers are with you as we go through this trying time. But people are wondering how is the hurricane affecting the real estate market in your area? Well, we're going to go over some figures over here. We'll see what the statistics look like and this way I'll be able to share that with you. So let's take a look at the numbers and see what the real estate market is doing here in Cape Coral, Fort Myers, and in Lehigh. First, let's notice the inventory. Now, inventory has dropped in Cape Coral from what it was over in August. But notice, in all three areas, inventory is significantly higher than what we started off with January this year. So our inventory is still higher, but there's homes that have had to come off the market because of needing repairs and because of insurance issues that's there right now. So some of these homes have been taken off the market, but there's still you know, a good amount of supply that's left right now for those that are looking for homes. Next, let's look at the prices. Some people think, well, the real estate market, it's going to tank. You know, it's, you know, prices are going to drop. Really, it's quite the opposite. Look at what the prices are in October, how we ended up in October, and look where we were at in January. Cape Coral's the same. Fort Myers is higher, and Lehigh is higher. Prices have not dropped. I believe prices are going to stay the same. In fact, I think they're going to go up a little bit, and I'll explain that to you as we go on here. The next is home sales. Now, home sales dropped, especially in Cape Coral, and we expected that because some of the homes that were scheduled to close were affected by the hurricane and could not close at that time. Those closing may have been put into this month already. And some of the homes were so damaged that it's going to take a while before you, we can put them back on the market. So when we look at the three areas, the inventory is up, Prices are still staying up. Uh, availability, uh, like I say, as far as inventory is concerned, that's down a bit, but Lehigh Acres actually is the one spot where that we have more inventory and homes are selling out there. Some people are saying, Dan, what do you see for the future? Uh, where's the real estate market going to be? I will give you my opinion, and it's just my opinion, but. I don't see the values dropping. You know, people are still moving here for two reasons. First of all, there's a lot of work that needs to be done in this area. So you're having people moving down here because there's such an abundance of work to be able to be done. And they're going to need a place either to buy or to rent so they have a place to live. Second reason is it's snowing up north already. People don't want to be in the snow. They want to come down here in the warm climate, even if everything isn't as picturesque as what it was like this time last year. So for those two reasons, I don't see the market going down. I've lived here for 33 years. I've seen different hurricanes come through. I was here when Charlie hit. Now, this Ian was much worse than what Charlie was, but Charlie still caused a lot of devastation. 
right after Charlie. Charlie hit in 04. 05, the real estate market took off. And there was a lot of sales made in that, at that time. I see the same thing happening today. Houses are still going to sell because of those reasons I mentioned to you. And also I see you know, the values continuing to go up because we're still not at a six month supply. We're about at an average of an absorption rate of about three, three and a half months. Also, some may not agree with me with this, but I really want to congratulate the city of Cape Carl. They have been working hard. They had things in place, <coughs> excuse me, for after uh, the hurricane came through. There is a lot of cleanup that they have already done. Now we know there's more to do in some areas, may not even have been touched yet, but <clears throat> excuse me, they have done a lot of cleanup here in the area. Another thing that might affect the housing is the interest rates. And, and some people may be concerned with the interest rates because they're going up. But when I bought my first house, it was around 18%. Interest rates are nowhere near that amount right now. And if you're looking for a house, I have several good lenders out there that I can recommend to you. They have different programs to help you to get into, into a house. If you're interested, give me a call and we can get you connected with those various lenders. You know, I really appreciate everyone who put their trust in me during the course of this year. All my homes have sold at this point in time. All my sellers have accomplished their goal of moving on. If you would like the same results yourself, give me a call, touch base with me. Uh, I'd love to be able to help you accomplish your goals as well. If you're looking to purchase or invest, well, there's still houses out there that can be bought. And like we say, there's workers coming down, whether they rent or buy, they're looking for homes. So investing in a home to rent out would still be a good idea at this point. Well, I hope this brief market report was interesting to you and that you found it informative. There's more things I can go over, but I wanted to keep it brief. If you have any questions, call, text, email me. I am here to help you with your real estate need. If you want a copy of the Cape Carl statistics, just click that page below and you can receive that. I just want to say thank you for all your support during the course of the year. I appreciate everyone who refers their friends and family to me. And listen, I hope you are doing well. And if there's anything I can help you with, give me a call. This is Dan, the Realty Man, Color France, and come to you from Cape Carl, wishing you well, hope you're doing okay. And hey, I look forward to talking to you in the future. Have a great day now. Bye.